Welcome back to another episode of Bite Size Builds. Today we're going to look at using the oversized Nixie tubes. And we're at Outpost Zamangia. I think that's how you say it. Let's get started. This build incorporates a pitching machine that's hooked up to these lights. And the idea is you step on the pressure plate, there's a countdown. At the end of the countdown, the pitching machine will launch a grenade. And we are going to try to shoot it. So let's launch one, or load one. It's actually kind of tricky. You got to be quick getting into vats, and then I always press wrong buttons. That's so awesome. You want to keep the pitching machine as high as you can. It doesn't give it a very good arc, but it does shoot the grenades and um, the cocktails pretty far. Everything else seems to just kind of dribble out of it, but those it'll actually get some distance. And if you prop it up high enough, uh, it'll stay in the air long enough to get in vats and shoot it. This is all powered by these delay on and off switches. So there's a pair hooked up to each Nixie tube. What you're gonna need for this build is a pressure plate, three sets of delay on and delay off switches, and three of the Nixie tubes. So let's get started. I already have power hooked up to this pylon, so I'm gonna go directly into the pressure plate and the pressure plate into my first delay on switch. From the delay on, go to the delay off, and then go to your first Nixie tube. So as I step on the plate, it's sending power on a delay, and then it's cutting it on a delay. The reason why is I want a consistent uh, countdown and I want the next light to light up as this one turns off. So to do that, then I want to go again from this delay on switch to the next delay on switch. And follow that same pattern, delay on to delay off lay off to the next Nixie tube. Let's do that one more time. Okay, we're all wired up. Let's test this out. To change the digits, you'll actually want to power them up first and then manually activate them to change the numbers. You can't do that through a terminal. You can change the uh, speed in which it counts down with a terminal. But I find that the default works pretty well. So then if you, you could count down to anything, you could count down to say fireworks, um, an alarm, and just make sure that the last one then gets powered or sends power to that device. So while we're here, take a quick tour of the post. I added a few rooms. We got a workshop area outside, master bedroom area. I left this room pretty much intact, but added these, added these walls. This walkway was added to to get to this room, and it's going to serve as a kind of a defense post on either side and access to this roof which has the uh, radio beacon. A couple turrets on the top. Nothing too fancy but for some reason I really like this outpost. I don't know if it's just the location or just the kind of unique build you, you start with but I've just always liked seeing what I could do with this area. 
Well, I hope you found this helpful. If you found ways to use these Nixie tubes, please let me know in the comments below. I think in the next video, I'm going to explore this other idea uh, with the shooting gallery. And the Nixie tube will represent how many targets have been shot. But in the meantime, I'm going to have some fun with this.